Highlanders get the rub of the green versus the Canes. The wee cheetahs find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> Is the Western Fox the real deal? Short answer, no. Long answer, no. That's right, Rams fans. It's Monday. It's rugby season, and that could only mean one thing. You can't do an Irish accent for shit. Was that an Indian accent? Regardless, this is our super end St. Benny's Day episode. Oh, thank you. Come again. <laughs>
Well, I already don't know what you guys are talking about because when I eventually rolled out of bed, it was the Waratahs that were up against the Force. And oh, oh boy. Horrible game. Well, horrible game, game but I mean, the yeah. Force eventually. Uh, I mean, it was a disaster of a game, but I mean, did you see the crowd attendance? I mean, that was even worse. It was shocking. Yeah, I mean, that's. Uh, that's at Waratahs at home, they're supposed to be a big uh, support to them. I've seen a better crowd attendance at, at, at Amazulu versus. Maritzburg United. Nobody <laughs> watches that. Also, a classic game. Yeah, classic, classic game. Classic. One of the one of the all time greats, if you will. But um, yeah, the I mean, let's let's cut to the extended highlights of that game. Well, it's no longer the Sydney Football Stadium or SFS. It is in fact now Allianz Stadium, and it's round four, the All Aussie Affair, Waratahs versus the Western Force. Yeah, that, that was pretty much it. It went kind of downhill from there. Uh, Warrants was looking shocking. Shocking. Uh, about as bad as uh, Leo DiCaprio's Irish accent in Blood Diamond. He was an Irish name, isn't he? What's South African, dude? I don't, I don't sound like that. <laughs> yeah, that was the Irish name would have been called Green Potato. I <laughs> <laughs> do love potatoes. <laughs> but um, yeah, Warrants was not, not good. But Force coming back, winning it. First, I think it's their first win of the ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. first, win of the Super <laughs> first win of the ever, and we're actually going to be crossing over to our man. You may know him from Chicago, kind of playing in Langevin Civic Center. We know him as Carl Van Dam, our new man in the field. Carl, over to you. Carl, can you can you hear me? Hi there, guys. Carl Van Dam here. Carl, it uh, seems there's a, a bit of lag there, Carl. We are guys, Carl, just... guys, <laughs> guys. Oh, are we live, guys? Carl, just, Gu like, just hold on, Carl. Let me talk quickly. There's a little bit of silence before we talk. Silence is golden. A famous quote by Aristotle. Back to you guys. So you've managed to secure an uh, interview with the captain. Oh, captain, my captain, from the movie Dead Poet Society. Back to you guys. Carl, you don't you don't need to keep saying over trust. It's it's kind of understood. Carl, please, if we're a little bit limited for time here. You know. Time is a funny thing. Sometimes you have lots of time. Other times you're out of time. Back to you. What is, what is with this guy? Jenny, this guy's a freaking nutcase. <laughs> Carl. Cheers, David. Thanks for the chat. And there you have it. Straight from Pocock's lips to your ears and mine. Over to you. Brand fans, we'd sincerely like to apologize for that botched attempt at an interview. We were merely trying to... Try, try, and try again. My folks always told me to stay in school. <laughs> the last game of Saturday evening was the St. Paddy's night game. The Sharks Reds, that's Shark Tank, but... Uh, it's it's like a slash pool. Yeah, that's yeah. terrible. Sharks couldn't perform in water in the first one. Well, luckily, as our good friends Nas and Arnold have told us, rugby's a game of two halves. Unlike, sure. unlike Polo, which is the game of four chuckers. But anyway, <laughs> losing time, <laughs> nevertheless, um, leaving the Reds wanting at the end. Yeah, the Sharks came back and smashed them, and uh, talking about smashed, some people got pretty smashed uh, during that game. Let's cross over to our intern, Blaine. How are you doing there, boy? Pretty messy. Disgusting. But, uh, not, not as messy or as disgusting as that red top. Oh boy. <laughs> what is that leopard print? Yeah, it looks like lipstick marks like, all over his shirt. It's horrible. It's, uh, but I mean, now they've got, the reds have now got the koala, the dragon, and the leopard print shirt. Oh, like, sounds like a bloody Narnia movie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was an abortion of a shirt and, uh, and a second half by the reds. But uh, yeah, you know what? So well done to the Sharks. And then yeah. last game. Last game of the weekend was the Cheetahs. Cheetahs Rebels. Yeah, well, look, young uh, Valerie Rood scoring two tries again, Jay. He's looked impressive. Uh, I've never heard of the guy. I don't know where they dropped him from. I think he was playing for the Grippers or something. But yeah, he's looked rather impressive on the wing. Nice really stuff. good. But I mean, the clincher obviously was Pip Van Sale in the corner. Little leprechaun. Nice. And uh, Cheetahs getting the win. Awesome. <laughs> w. Yeah, little drown you. We're the poor Rebels, though. So they're not going to win that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, that, was, that was actually probably the second best moment of that game was when they crossed over to the losing cats and man, he'd have got it. I know that expression, similar to when I caught my parents humping. <laughs> uh, what were you saying there, Dusty? <laughs> well, that's it, Rat fans. Episode 4, all done. Thanks for coming around. We hope you had a great St. Paddy's weekend. And just remember, when. May the road always rise up to meet you and the wind always be at your back. Just like in Back to the Future, where Doc invented the flux capacitor. 
and the capacity of the stadium at the Waratahs, where it's home to the wonderful flower, which is indigenous to New Zealand <laughs> or Austria. In Austria, they have a beautiful museum donated by Beethoven himself. He also played instruments like the flute and the xylophone, which not many know about. I know a lot about <laughs> bushes. 